and those very same that very same idea of how to sell is used then to and you know we're running out of time but war i you know how is this how is this technology now being used for war yeah well um i would point to the work of heidi cloth who is a uh, a safety engineer and the chief scientist at the ai now institute uh, she, Sarah Myers West, and I will be publishing a paper soon looking at the dangers of the military application of AI. And this was this is going to preview some of her her future work on this. But you know, right now we see we see AI systems being used, particularly in Gaza, at, for targeting and surveillance. And Project you know, Lavender. Very, Lavender is this Lavender, the one you're yeah. Daddy, yeah, these are, and the Guardian did, um, and um, sorry, it's 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 very early Saturday morning here. Um, Y97, I think, but I think I got that. Yeah, you know, the, the please correct me on that. The citation. Um, they did investigative reporting that uncovered the use of syst AI systems that effectively draw on surveillance data of Palestinian populations, which are of course one of the most surveilled populations in the world. Use that to statistically estimate whether a person is likely to be an enemy combatant. They don't know who that person is. They don't necessarily know much about them, except that the data they collected from that person maps to a model they created of what an enemy combatant would look like, right? So this is ad targeting. This is yeah. the data collected about me maps yep. to a model of what someone who would want these coffee beans look like. Yeah. It's just turned instead of to sell me coffee beans, it's turned to drop bombs on my Correct. home at night when me and my family are sleeping. And so this is really, you know, it is the intersection of that, that power asymmetric surveillance. And it is the, the slippery and very, dangerous continuum between this surveillance-based advertising, which targeted us for one thing, and surveillance-based death bringing, which targets us for something different. And it, it really, to me, exposes exactly that power asymmetry between you know, who collects the data, who gets to decide what's done with it, and who the data is collected on, and how that can you know, shape their lives or, or bring about their murder.